A follow up to a story we first brought you two years ago. Back then, we introduced you to a little boy who needed a life saving surgery. The boy is doing fine now, but his mom is now fighting for her own life. NBC Barry's Damon Trujillo reports how the community around the family is now trying to help them. <laughs> Anybody else's food? David Hernandez has his hands full every day, taking care of 25 second graders. He tries to smile for them, but the last few months have been tough. Well, my wife was diagnosed with uh, sarcoma, so it's a type of cancer that attacks the nervous system. Mary Lou's illness is terminal, and it's left the family speechless. It's hard to explain. You know? it's, it's my wife, it's mother of my two kids. I, I, we, we know that the possibility is there, yet we don't want to think about it, but... Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> this is the second battle for the Hernandez family. Baby Lucas needed a tracheostomy after birth, and the family fought legal red tape to bring him home from the medical center. Lucas is fine today, but now it's mom who's preparing herself to say goodbye. She's the one that drives the force into the planning for a future either way of whatever might happen, and I'm the one that kind of wants to avoid it as much as possible. You think about what, what have I done to, I guess, deserve this. Mary Lou is a school counselor and still fights her illness to make it to school every day. The bills and debts are piling up, so her community in San Jose's Washington neighborhood is coming together to help raise funds. You can't go to sleep at night before having them in your mind, in your prayers. Nancy Lopez and her friend are leading the fundraising charge, she says, to give back to the family. Throughout all the tragedies that they have experienced, just the dignity and the selflessness that they have within them as a family. She dances with a different group. He won't show emotion to his school kids. They don't know that their teacher is hurting inside, praying for one final miracle that can keep his Mary Lou alive. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News. Now, the local community is holding a big fundraiser for the family. It'll be held on July 31st, as Damien mentioned, at San Jose Washington Youth Center. Still